Have you seen that before? Is that oh, your I first thought, time? I've seen the edit. Um, I sat with George and watched the edit and... Uh, yeah, thank you. And I, 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 I didn't expect it to be quite the journey it was. And I decided when, when I was asked to do the show that at the time I couldn't afford to do therapy myself at the time of the position I was in. Um, and being in this in this job, we're very lucky we got offered things like that yeah. all the time to take the opportunity. Um, and I decided to stop being the keeper of people's secrets mm. and strip it right back to where the problem first began yeah. for me, well before addiction. Yeah. Um, addiction was just something that came into play as I grew up into a young woman. I started to meet boys and everything else, and mm. it went back to to my abuse as a child. And, and that was my way of coping, lot, I think. Had you worked a lot of that out? yourself now that you think looking back but you just still weren't saying anything about no, it uh, no everything was with mandy yeah. but i just wow. started talking about it and oh, what, you buried it and yeah i talked about, about, about the rape yeah. thing and um, i didn't talk about the abuse from, but you've had therapy child, so. before daniela why, why why didn't you mention it before and what was so different about the therapy this time do you think you were in a different place do you think i never because... i never wanted to go there really right. and i never thought i would I, and i also thought if i scratched the surface on that i'd never work in this industry again yeah yeah Mm. And Do you it, think it was very Mandy, difficult for me. your relationship with Mandy helped you be able to open Gosh, up? Gosh, her and I hit it off really badly. Mm. <laughs> we fought like cat and dog, and I walked out and I you know, fumed. But I came out and I phoned my best mate Caroline, and I was like, listen, oh, I'm not arguing with her. <laughs> and I lost it with her. I was like, listen. <laughs> But do you I'm think out. that is because... because um, And Caroline said to me, go back in there. Yeah. She's the mm. first person to get your opinion. But also, show. Mandy yeah. would have seen all of that before. That's, right. That's yeah. part of her job, isn't it? That's she part got of breaking me, and she down. got me on something which I'm terrible for, which is my timekeeping. Mm. Awful. Everybody knows it. It's like my baddest thing ever. Um, and I was so on guard about the addiction thing and the child abuse and the rape and blah, 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 to get all that, vent that mm. stuff. She kept picking up on it and going back to it. And I was like, listen, we've... I've said sorry. Mm. She kept going, kept going. I went, oh, I'm out. I'm not here to talk about that. So and what, that's what, what do, she got me on, and then I just started to unravel. Mm. Yeah. What do what do do we learn from the programme? I just want to talk you through that for people watching at home. So basically, from about the age of seven, you say, to yeah. the age of fourteen, yeah, you were abused within the workplace. I think was yeah. the phrase you used. Yeah. yeah. I worked in this industry a long time, and yeah. we you were all a child. Have, yeah, we all have. You? Yeah, child. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, it isn't the it isn't the place it is today. Today, there's so many guidelines in place, yeah. and you know, HR and and I was, I really what saved me was going to work for the BBC because it was so proper, mm. and then there wasn't anything. It was like a, a dream going to work for them. And I, I think it's an in, an interesting you know. choice of words that you used as well. That you you realise that you were the keeper of other people's secrets. I have been for a lot. Do, of do things. you think that's now you feel powerful enough to be able to to say it because. In, in the end, when you keep something like that bottled in, you think you're doing it because you don't want to speak about it, but actually all you're doing is safeguarding somebody yeah, you're else. Somebody. You're protecting someone else, not your, and you harming are, yourself. And I think when you've made it to a point where you're successful in what you've done, even yeah. if you do screw up and, and come back and go and mess it up again, um, you don't want to admit something else that's gone wrong because it looks like you're blaming okay. all the time. And, that, and, that, and, people, and the people that are the perpetrators of these, of these things that they do to people, um, they make you feel that way, mm. and you believe that. Of course. And didn't they? You, you said at one point as well that the, all the experiences you went through actually you became emotionally kind of numb. I was completely emotionally numb to all relationships actually and, and, until I until I started this process. And I met George, and I felt completely different about it. I mean, even in my marriage, I was married for years, and you know, I've, I've never actually loved or felt anything, and, and, and you know, in that sort of way, I was emotionally numb. Uh, both in, in privately and and publicly, That's just like emotionally numb. Yeah. Yeah. And did you tell it your... felt, I felt nothing at all. Mm. Did you tell your partners this was what it was? No, because so I didn't all even they know that. Was that was, you no, it wasn't them. until I met George. No, they wow. even did. I, but, I know, that was just me. That's how I acted. And I met George. And I started this process. And I started to unravel things. I thought actually, I feel something for this person. I yeah. actually love this person. I've ne never felt anything like this before. Mm. I felt love for my children, but I've never felt love from a, man. a family member and or is that a man down that to way. This program and, and you yeah, and, 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 being and, able to release Yeah, everything. but it has caused me a lot of trauma, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what about it has your a lot of stuff daughter, up. Jodie, who I think is, what, 14 now? She is. Have you, has, has she seen that? Have you talked to her about this? Because... Oh, she doesn't watch anything I do. No, but it's, <laughs> she it, but it's like... If, but talking about what happened to you as a young girl... Oh, yeah, is... I mean, my, she knows. I was always completely paranoid about letting her stay out of people's houses. Yes. I wouldn't let her sleep over. I don't let anyone to bath my kids when they were small. Mm. I was paranoid about them wearing bikinis on a beach, not because of, just because I didn't like yeah. people looking at them for too mm. long. And, and it is a paranoia thing, but I didn't ever want to feel 
what you uh, felt. No, I wanted yeah. to keep my children safe. safe. Yeah. And, it, and it and sounds bad innocent. because you think, I want everyone to stay at my house, but I don't know these, these people's brothers or dads yeah. or yeah. uncles or whoever's at their house. That's my little girl yeah. and my son as well. I mean, I've always sort of been that way, and people think I'm a bit funny about it, but I think that's just... Well, obviously, now people will understand why, you know, you, you felt as strongly as you did. When you had the, the therapy, and obviously the filming finished, did you carry it on at all? Um, my best friend, Caroline, her sister's a therapist, and I've been working with that for a while on stuff, and I'm actually going to go back to Mandy, mm -hmm. because yeah. I think she's the one for me, and because she's had a drug addiction, mm -hmm. that she doesn't actually wear as a badge of honour, but she's happy to share with you. Yeah. She has walked in your shoes. She's yeah. not just reading it out of a book and yes. clock watching, which I found a lot with lots but, of but therapists. That must have made a big difference for you, because I, I'm, I'm sure being in your position, which has been so well documented, you don't necessarily want to see a therapist who's giving you the answers that they've learned from a book and learned from seminars. You want someone who's been in your shoes, who's, who's, been, there. who's, who's been there and understands yeah, what you're going through. I think, that, you know, therapy, there's so many different strands in a marriage and mm. relationships mm. and different yeah. things for everybody and eating disorders and all that sort of stuff. And she just, she scratched the surface on something, like I said, that yeah. was completely well away from all of the things uh, I've gone in to talk about. And is something yeah. going to come of this legally? Because that's what people watching will say. Is, there, is this I, something that I, no, you're just going to leave I'm, there? I'm going to leave it where it is because I, I, I was connect, um, contacted by you, Tree, and everything about my side of things. And for me, I just want to pull back and, and get on with it. I just want to work. And I've had enough bad luck with work with drugs and one thing and I've run people because yeah. I'm unreliable. I don't want to go down that road now. I've, Opening up can of worms. I think enough people have been brought to the mm. to the forefront already, and, and they're and being also you're in a good place right yeah. now as well. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here, so that you never miss out on the best loose women moments.